And we're starting out with our arrival in Rome. Now, it will take approximately 40 minutes to get to the hotel. This is always according to traffic. Uh, we're really in uh, the very uh, historic center. We're going to take you to some of the highlights of Rome, such as the Pantheon, the best preserved building from ancient days, right in the heart of the city. And here's a Bernini sculpture of the elephant in front of Santa Maria Minerva. And we're going to show you quickly a couple of other churches, such as Sant'Ignacio. We took a walk in the heart of Rome through the Campo dei Fiori and into some of the cute little alleys and piazzas all around this ancient center. This is, though, like I said before, just a very typical residential courtyard. You might have a dozen apartments around it, all separate buildings constructed in a hodgepodge kind of way, some laundry, laundry hanging out there, and these cars are just parked everywhere. A cute little piazza, it's really just an intersection of roads, about seven roads coming together at this one point, and of course there's a restaurant over there and a little newsstand on this side. It's Papa Giovanni. Another one of Rome's amazing sights is this church that was designed by Michelangelo at Santa Maria degli Angeli, and it's located inside what had been an ancient Roman bathhouse, the Baths of Diocletian. Quite a remarkable structure right at Piazza della Repubblica, and you've got to have some nice outdoor dining while you're in Rome. Okay. Mr. Rome. Oh, yes. <laughs> Vino, excellent. It's so cute with the cars driving right past your table. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What atmosphere. So you're having a big meal. You had appetizer too. And now dessert. Somehow this good food tastes even better when you're sitting outdoors at one of the many sidewalk restaurants in Rome. Well, that's it for our quick look at the Eternal City. We're heading to the train station now.